guys, it's Braden here with Spring Fever Custom Calls. This is our first episode for 2022, and we are excited to get started. If our 2022 season goes as well as 2021, we'll be in good shape. So, it is the end of February, and everybody is starting to thank Turkey. And it's important that um, when we start thanking Turkey, we are setting ourselves up for success. Tonight, this topic is going to be somewhat basic, but I think it's something that needs to be discussed, and so we're going to knock it off on the first episode. I want to talk tonight about setting goals and setting ourselves up for success before season starts. And I'm not talking about, you know, scouting or anything like that. I'm going to talk about mental attitude and setting goals, okay? Now, I think a lot of people beat themselves before they even enter the turkey woods, okay? And and I think part of that is, you know, we're used to watching TV and we're seeing these guys go out and they're shooting a turkey uh, and they're done within 20 minutes and that's with, you know, 10 minutes of commercials. And realistically, it just doesn't work like that. You know, we may hunt all season and get one opportunity or we may hunt all season and not get an opportunity. So we want to know kind of where we're at as a hunter and know our ability and be able to set goals accordingly so we're not mentally putting pressure on ourselves that's going to beat us in the long run, okay? Now, you're going to kind of, I'm going to talk about hunting pressure for a second, and I'm not talking about uh, hunting pressure in terms of people in a certain area. I'm talking about the pressure that we put on ourselves, okay? Um, when we when we talk about that pressure, in you know, in and I'm... I'm guilty of this just like everybody else. And, you know, there's there's nothing that we have to prove to nobody. And I want you to keep that in the back of your mind as a turkey hunter. Uh, yeah, I mean, you can see you, you start seeing people punch tags and the season starts getting closer to an end and, and we haven't haven't punched that tag yet. And we start it just starts mentally draining us. And don't let that pressure affect you as a hunter. The sharper you are, the clearer you are mentally, the better off you're going to be. Now, and that kind of goes back to starting and planning for your season. And that, that's the main reason why I want to talk about it tonight. As our minds start to transfer and start to thank, thank Turkey, we need to start setting goals. And, you know, here at Spring Fever, we do this way back in probably November. We start mapping out our spring and we start setting goals that we want to achieve as a pro staff team. And, you know, this November, me and dad, EP, we sat down and we talked about, you know, what exactly do we want to do? And it all starts there and we pencil down, you know, ideas and goals that we want to achieve. Now, these goals, when you guys set these, it's important that you set one, realistic goals, okay? You set achievable goals and you also set goals that are going to push you as a hunter. And these are going to change, okay? And they're going to be different. Um, some goals are going to achieve some, and some goals are going to achieve a different aspect of that. So the first thing is, is setting small goals that are, are that are achievable. So one of the goals that I set for myself every year that's easy to achieve is learning a new call, okay? And we've talked about this in, in other videos, like in How to Kiki and, you know, things like that. I try to push myself as a hunter by learning a new call every year. It could be a turkey vocalization, and it may not be a turkey call at all. Um, you know, one year I wanted to just learn how to hoot out with my mouth, uh, so I didn't have to carry a locate that locator call in my vest. So setting that, that's something that we can do, we can achieve that, and you know, that's a small goal that we can check off, boost our confidence a little bit going into season before the season even starts. Start setting yourself up for success. Okay. Now, Indiana, we have a short season. It's two and a half weeks and we can kill one bird. We go out there and we kill bird first day, we're done. So one of the goals that we also set every year is to lengthen our season. And to do that, we hunt out of state in several places to make our turkey season longer. Okay. And that's one of the things that um, will also push you as a hunter. Now, if you don't have the ability to hunt out of state. You can set the goal of still hunting a different property. It's the same scenario. 
If you've hunted the same piece of ground year after year after year, you know what happens, okay? You know where the turkeys like to be. You know where they generally like to roost. Try somewhere new. If you're a private hunter, go hunt public. If you're, if you're a public hunting uh, guy, go hunt a different piece of public. Learn new terrain. Learn a new place to hunt. Going in there blind makes you a better hunter. You've got to learn. You've got to adapt. You've got to think on your feet. And that's going to sharpen your skills as a hunter, okay? So, remember to make sure goals are achievable, but also push yourself. So, a, a good example of this is our hunting trip last year to New York. We had never hunted New York before as a team. We had never hunted that far east. We had never hunted an area that had a tree density as large as that one. There was, it was the... The forest was just so dense with trees. There was no fields anywhere. Um, it was it was a learning curve, and we knew that was going to be the toughest state for us to harvest a bird in last year. Our goal going into that hunt um, ultimately was to harvest a turkey, but realistically, we knew that the odds were not in our favor. And, and our realistic goal about that was to find, locate turkeys. Okay, That was a goal. The second goal was to work those turkeys. That was the main goal. We said going into it, we said it, we, we said it a million times driving there, this nine hours that it took us to get there was, you know, if we get in there and we can find birds and we can work them, this trip's a success. And, you know, fortunately, we did that. But that is a very, very tough thing to do when you have when you're going to somewhere completely new and the only thing you've seen it seen it as is looking at your looking at, at your phone on Onyx or on a computer from the sky to go in and be able to find, locate, and work a bird is an achievement. And it's something that, you know, to be proud of. Now, we did that last year in New York. We had birds within 10 yards. We just didn't get them killed. Um, it was a success. Now, when I go back to New York, I've got my notes, I've got my data from that hunt, and the bar, the goal, will go higher. Now that I know where the general area is, where turkeys are, I'm going in there to kill those turkeys the next time I go to New York, okay? So there's a difference. Make sure you're not beating yourself up mentally. I think some people could have went in there, you know, the first few days and not heard a gobble like we did and kind of been like, well, psh, this is a waste of time. But that wasn't our goal. Our goal going in there was to find birds, to locate them, and then work them. And, you know, on the third day, we were able to do that. So, remember, set things that are achievable. Don't beat yourself up. It's turkey hunting. We're not at work. It's a lot. It's, it's, it's got to be good, right? So, don't beat yourself up. Don't let that hunting pressure start to mentally affect you. And don't lose the battle before you've even entered the turkey woods. Be successful, and it starts by mentally preparing and laying out your season and setting the correct goals. Okay? So, again, tonight's pretty basic, but I think it's something important uh, to discuss. And we've got a lot prepared for this season. We've got hunts from last season that, that didn't even make it to the channel uh, because we ran out of time. So, stay tuned. Stay with us all season long. Be sure you guys hit the subscribe button, jump over, like us on Facebook, and if you haven't done so, make sure you stop by the website and check out some of the new stuff we got on there this year. Remember, put your next long beard on speed dial with the Spring Fever Custom Call, and we'll see you guys next week.